to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. We continue our rather lively discussion about strains, sprains, and pulled muscles. And the good doctor, Dr. Yud Kalam from Express Care, is here, and she was answering your questions. Of course, we solicited those on Facebook at KUN.com slash Facebook. So, doctor, we have a bunch of questions. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Number one comes to us from the capital village of Hagania, and this comes from Leah. And Dr. Lam, she asks, what are shin splints? I get them often when I'm jogging, so how can I prevent them? Great question. Okay, well the muscles in the front of our legs attach to the bone, to the shins, okay? They kind of go in there like a little fan. And um, if you haven't stretched properly, or if you're very heavy, or you're not wearing proper footwear, or you're pounding a pavement, that uh, creates micro trauma to the attachment between the muscle and the bone. So the problem is right at the level of the bone where that muscle's kind of yanking on the bone where it attaches all the time. And it's very painful. Shin splints can really be uh, disabling for people and, and also interrupt their exercise program. So prior to starting your exercise, you want to stretch. That would be by bending your foot backwards like this and then up like that, side to side, really doing a good long stretch. Um, for shin splints, heat tends to help prior to exercise, so warm up prior to, and then ice afterwards. You can also take a little Motrin. Make sure you're wearing good running shoes, and if you have a, 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 f a flat foot, if you notice that you don't have much of an arch in your foot, make sure you wear a little arch support. That will help too. Okay, and as you maybe said at the beginning of that question, the leg bone's connected to the foot bone, and we know how the rest <laughs> of that song goes, so you know. That's true. I'll, I'll let you, you'll, you'll end the episode tonight by singing that one. But next, our question comes to us from down south. This is from Jim from Agate Doctor. And Jim says, I am an athlete, and I've been scared to go to a chiropractor for my aches and pains from working out. Will chiropractic treatment actually help with my body aches? You know, it might. It just depends where are your body aches and what is it from, what are you really doing. Chiropractors do definitely have a role, as does physical therapy for athletes who are, who are you know, experiencing recurrent injuries. Sometimes there's an alignment problem with your spine or your hips that a chiropractor can help you with. But it sounds like you could be doing quite a lot more stretching. Hydration is very important for preventing muscle strains and sprains also. And you could also be taking a little Motrin after your exercise to help you. So these are other ideas you might try. Mm, hopefully not if your body's like constantly popping even from just regular movement. So <laughs> that's, that's another problem in and of itself. Uh, question number three comes to us from the beautiful village of Tumon. So one of my neighbors, this is from John, and he asks Dr. Lam, this is a follow-up to a question we addressed in the first segment, is hot or cold better to treat my sore muscles? We talked about the joints and everything, now how about the muscles? Yeah, same thing. Um, if you've just um, injured a muscle, um, you know, pulled a muscle, first thing to do is ice it. And you can do that for the first up to 72 hours. What I tell people is, once it starts to hurt when you put the ice on, after a couple of days you put the ice on, it just doesn't feel good anymore. That's your body's signal that it will benefit from heat. So you can use ice alternating with heat at that point, where you're using heat to bring more blood to the area, that's oxygen and healing chemicals, and then you're using ice to reduce swelling and inflammation, get the toxins out of there. So you can actually alternate and help yourself feel better that way. Okay, how do you know wh which one to start? But typically Always start, start with ice, okay. and after you put 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes on, you can even fill up an, a balloon with water and put it in the freezer, that's what we do at the clinic to make an ice ball, and rub it around, that helps a lot. You can do that, and once once you've been doing that for a couple of days and it's, it's still feeling sore, or it's not feeling good when you put the ice, that's when you switch to heat. All right, good answer. Question number four is upon us now, and Dr. Lon, how long can I expect to be out from sports with a sprained ankle? This is from Carl from Jonia. Is there anything I can do to speed up the healing process? So the worst thing for an athlete getting hurt is being on the sideline. Everybody wants to get back into the action as fast. So how do Absolutely. we speed up the healing process? Okay, well, speed up the healing process by doing rice. Rest it, ice it, compress it with an ace wrap or, or a, a, a basically a bandage that keeps it tight, keeps it from swelling again, and elevate it. When you elevate your ankle, it's got to be higher than your heart. So you're not just sitting on a, on a, on a chair with your foot up, you're lying down on the bed with your, with your leg higher than your heart so that you get swelling away from it. And if you, if you really ice really very well and keep your leg up for the first 72 hours, maybe take a little anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen or Motrin or Aleve, that will help you. You've got to stay off it for the first 72 hours. After that, you'll see how you're doing. If it's a mild sprain, you might be 
okay after two weeks. The biggest mistake people do make is they go back too soon. So a sprained ankle, two weeks is really the minimum for, for the beginning of healing, six weeks for full healing, and especially for a bad sprain. So that's a long time to be on the sideline knowing that your career is long and your ankle needs the, the rest. All right, and I would assume that any acronym spelling out rice in our part of the world would be very, very effective. So, <laughs> so that's a good one. <laughs> that's okay. true. Okay, and our last question, we'll deal with this one really quickly. Dr. Lam, what is compression, writes Shelly from Minarahan, and how does it aid in treating my aches and pains? Mm -hmm. It helps a lot. So again, it prevents swelling and inflammation, which um, is, is congestion. You want blood going in, but you also want toxins going out. And um, so you can tape ankles and wrists and so on prior to exercise if they're recurrently being injured. Um, you can use an ACE wrap, which is like a compression bandage, which uh, elastic type bandage after an injury. You always wrap from the bottom to the top to bring the blood up towards the heart and um, that's what you can do to help reduce inflammation and improve and speed up your healing okay well just fascinating answers dr long wish we had more time but we got to go to commercial break no thank problem. you so much thank you uh